this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another little quick look video at a art book and this one is sketching from the imagination creatures and monsters and I've got already got two of these which because this is like a little series of books that 3D Total Publishing have done the, the other one I've got is sketching from the imagination an insight into creative drawing and sketching from the imagination characters that one's my favourite one and these books are just full of artists sketches basically <laughs> but they are amazing so inspiring it's kind of like the character design quarterly magazine in a book it's just you get lots of different artwork and advice and stuff like that so I'm gonna do a quick look at this in a minute I haven't even opened it up yet so I just flick through it looking at the the drawings and stuff but this book was actually sent to me by 3D Total Publishing with these two as well I've just done a video of Graphite magazine and Sketch with Asia book but if you what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy these for myself so I'm going to give these books and magazine away so if you go to website at sophielawson.com I'm going to basically give them away in the little newsletter so if you sign up to the little newsletter over the coming months I'll be giving these books away so if, if you like this book and you want to have a chance of winning it just go to there but let's get into it I am really looking forward to this because these books are so fun and like inspiring and just Again, I love how they set their books out. I know I keep saying it, but it's just, it always impresses me. They keep things simple. So, sketching from the imagination, creatures and monsters. This is going to be really, really fun. Because the thing with, <laughs> that's funny, look, human with a bird head. What I like about what I like about characters and creatures and stuff. Well, what I like about creatures is you can't really make a mistake if you if you're trying to sketch if you copy this sketch and you mess up the eye or something, you can't really tell. Whereas with a face, a human, you can so you can get away with a lot more. That's nice. Interesting look. I just, I don't know. Something I'm really. Oh, look at these weird things. <laughs> Funny nose look. I don't know how to come up with ideas. It's there's two things I've noticed because I've started trying to like sketch from my imagination, and what I'm noticing is he's got a funny face. <laughs> what I'm noticing is you need to level up your art skills and your imagination skills so actually there is these are kind of like um, spiritual he looks quite childlike but there is this little exercise an artist emailed me called Rebecca and she told me about this exercise that's weird called doodle drawing and basically what you do is you just get a piece of paper I'm going to do a video a video about it because it's really good what you do is you get a piece of paper you squiggle on the paper nice shape you squiggle on the paper and then you turn the squiggles into things without see that's that might be what they do just squiggle and then see what comes up but it's really it's, it's really good, but it's also making me realise, oh, I like these, look. Look at that one there. <laughs> that little bit of little bend is makes him... Oh, you can imagine, this can sound a bit weird, you can imagine biting into him and like eating his head off. <laughs> That'd be quite weird, though. These funny little characters, look. Yeah, what that what that doodle drawing made me. Oh, I'm gonna sketch these. 
that doodle drawing made me realise that my I haven't got a very good imagination at the minute. Like I I thought it would be quite easy to come up with ideas, but it's not. Really nice shapes. I like their eyes. <laughs> it's like da 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 da. You can imagine them bouncing along going do 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 do. <laughs> Nice shape on that look. It's a spaceship creature. That's mental. This is what I love about these books is, see that artist that I love, I can now go onto their Instagram, Stella Black Bialak. I can never pronounce people's names. I can go onto their Instagram and look at all their other artwork. That's why I love these. Who would ever think to put spaceships with a creature? That's what I'm saying. I, I don't know how they can come up with these ideas. I would like a book which... Maybe this book does it. Maybe this book... Maybe these books tell you or help you come up with ideas on how to get your imagination going. I really like that. Look, straight lines with like a organic as well. See, what I love about these books is every single artist is so different. Nice shapes on that. Yeah, these, are, these books are fun just to flick through and randomly sketch something. These are so, like, weird. Oh, fishies again. <laughs> fishies are everywhere. Like, when I say weird, I mean... Fascinating. It's bloody weird, look. Imagine... Imagine a world with this sort of thing living and existing. Be crazy. Imagine a world with that existing. I wouldn't like that. I'd pop its head. <laughs> Get a little pin and no, I wouldn't. It wouldn't be very nice. Fish thing. Got a big nose. You know what they say? Big nose, big something else. <laughs> I don't know what they don't say that, do they? Fish characters. I really like that one, look. Look how big it is compared with humans. Yeah, these are just... Nice motion on that. That seems really aggressive. Like it's about to pounce. A fun one. These are a bit creepy though. That's weird, look. That thing would have to sort of float about. I imagine that floats. It must be underwater. These are just weird shapes. See, you could do that with a doodle drawing. You could just squiggle it and turn it into something weird. Fascinating seeing what people come up with. Nice. Three headed dogs. I don't I wouldn't like to see that. That scares me. Nice shapes. Nice shapes. That's quite funny, that. He's like... Looks a bit scary, but funny at the same time, which is a bit... It's a bit of a paradox. Look 
very thick, fucking crunchy, <laughs> crunchy, nice bum. I like the fact that that's got some sort of humanness to it. It's weird, look. It's like a little baby monster. Oh, that's nice. God, some of these are scary. Which is good, because Monsters. You want monsters to be scary. It's got, looks like it's got two heads. That's like the um, bloke off Persona 4. What's he called? I can't remember his name. The guy that comes to you. I forgot his name. Hmm, that's good. That rabbit's not scared. Fearless. That's what we need to be, fearless. I like that. That's nice, look. Organic. Organic monsters. I just keep thinking, imagine if these things existed. That's quite pretty. Yeah, I like these, look. They're pretty monsters. Again, another paradox. That feels like it's moving towards you. See, with that one, I feel like there's a, a human stuck inside the creature, as if it wants to get out. That makes me feel a bit... Weird. Detail to rough. Yeah, detail to rough. Yeah, see? It's always a challenge to find a good way to fit the, pe the parts together, making sure there's a believable transition. I reckon they're explaining how they go about piecing together a creature. That's cool. I like how they leave bits of it as a pen, like a fine liner. I like the pink on that. These look like they want to be scary, but they are funny, if you know what I mean. They would come up to you and try to scare you, but they would just be having a laugh. <laughs> I like that. Aliens. It makes me want to start trying to draw monsters, creatures. I think I would combine a cat and a fish. Some sort of catfish human thing. Oh, those are cool, look. <laughs> look at that. Feel sorry for that one. <laughs> Really nice stuff in here. I like that. Again, they've done it. Detail, rough pencil. Makes it pop. I like those. I really like how they... They've done that. Wish. 
a nice motion in there once. Yeah, it's got really nice motion. Da 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 da. <laughs> la di da. Look. La di da. Yeah, funny. It says there, look, keep it fun. That's cool. Look at the size of that one. Look, little person, massive monster. It's amazing. Little person there, I like that. That little per having a little person there really makes that. And it's just a little squiggle. It's a little stick man, look. Really. It's <laughs> cool. Nice shapes on that one. Very loose. Yeah, this really makes me want to draw creatures. That's about to pounce. It's like altered beast. The old Sega Mega Drive game. Oh cool. These are nice, look. Look at their little eyes. Look at their little eyes. There's lots of life in those eyes. Lots of artists here I want to look into, like that. That's amazing, like that as well. Look at look at the motion on this. This is an artist I would look into. What's they called? What are they called? I can't pronounce names. Jutia Virginia. Virginia Jutia Kim Gaming That's nice Should have put a little person there I'm going to do that now, I'm going to put a little person in my monster drawings I like that, I'm going to do that as well, leave bits of it not finished I'm going to have a fight I like the shapes on that. I can imagine that like a tattoo. Very pretty. Kim Sori. I like how thick the lines are on these. Oh, I like that. A fish thing. Walking fish. Yeah, nice shapes. Very simple and clean. I like that. Nice shapes. I like that shape there, look. And then I like the fact that it's got straight lines with it. That's a really nice shape, the whole thing. Edgy. Look at that. Moving. I like those. That's nice. That's nice as well. It's got a different feel to it, these. Feels like, um... Feels like Mass Effect, I think. Yeah, it feels like a futuristic video game. Nice shape. I 
Oh, that's a funny one. It's like an elephant thing. I like that. Lots of characters on one page. Oh, look at that, look. Little mouse sitting on his back. Again, everyone is so different. Every artist is so different. That's amazing. Love that. I like they kept the white bit. Again, very clean. Nice. Nice shape as well. These are really good. A lot of these monsters have got straight lines to be aggressive. <laughs> That's cool. They look like friendly monsters. Like you you want to hug them? Probably hug them and then they bite your head off. So good. Look at that, what a fascinating creature. That actually I could believe that that exists. Japanese vibe, these ones, like mechs, organic mechs. Oh, that's nice. It's nice as well. Oh, I like these ones. Yeah. A little hint of blue. It's nice. It's like the other one with the pink. Oh, look at it. That little blue bit just makes it, brings it to life. Simple, but really nice there. So much stuff to like sketch in here. It'll be here forever. It's like saying, talk to the hand, the face ain't listening. <laughs> Actually, you could imagine it bending over and saying, does my bum look big in this? Bum. <laughs> oh, these are funny, look, look at these funny things. <laughs> ah -ha! Some, some, of the, some of these characters are so genius. Genius ideas. I like the colour of these. I like how they've coloured them. Hmm? God, these are just so good. It's like little person again. I like all the text on it as well. That, that text somehow makes it... I don't know. I like it. That little person. I like that. 
you wonder what's about to happen. Is that little man going to die or not? Shapes. God. Just funny creatures, like... Well, that's a funny creature. I can almost feel that one. Feel the texture. That's nice. Look at, look at that. It's just amazing. Oh, nice colours. Like that. Like the smoke on that one. These are kind of trippy. I like. Listen to your favourite music, that's what I do. Music and art go hand in hand like chocolate and peanut butter. I've never tried chocolate and peanut butter, but music and art, it just, it's. That's one of the reasons I love drawing so much, is because it's. Sometimes it's just an excuse to listen to music. And when you get into the music, your art just comes alive. They're quite fun. All right, like I keep saying, it really makes me want to draw monsters. I'm going to draw some monsters now. That's cool. Little person again. You wouldn't expect that to be as big as that. See, imagine if there was another drawing exactly the same with a person massive. That drawing suddenly becomes completely different. That person, having a person in the drawing makes it, changes it. I like those. So nice. Oh god. That is scary. That's that is scary because it's so close to being a human. Imagine just imagine seeing that outside. What would you do? It's scary. <laughs> that person looks like he's going, hey dude! Dude, what we do? What are we gonna do, dude? Just weird shapes. There must be a way to come up with these sort of shapes. Fish. It's just crazy. I just feel like I could not come up with ideas like this. I like that, look, look at that. He's cool. Ah, There's like a connection going on there. I don't think that monster's going to hurt that little unicorn thing. They're going to be friends. Nice eyes. These are like monster trees. Trees that have come alive. Oh, I love the shapes of these dragons. Sketching those. They like chocobos a little bit. Find a fantasy chocobos. I think that's what I would do is sort of Real life animals mixed together. Friendly. Nice shapes. I like, they've got like feet on top there. 
legs top and bottom. <laughs> That'd be quite funny. You might be able to walk on the ceiling as well. Yeah, you can look. Walks on the ceiling. It's quite cool. I like that. Some of the skill going on in these drawings is amazing. Just such fun creatures. Like pawns, isn't it? Is it pawns? My belly's about to rumble, I think. I'm going to let it rumble. Everybody rumble. It's, not, it's about to rumble, but it's not. It is. When it rumbles, it's going to rumble. Ah, oh, I love this as well. They always put all the artists at the back. And you can see their little websites and stuff. I love that. Oh, there's all the other ones, right? You've got sketching from the imagination, sketching from the imagination, fantasy, that one, fantasy, sci-fi, characters, and dark arts. Fantasy, sci-fi, and dark arts. I need to get those. These are just really good books to have on your bookshelf and ah, oh, he's funny. Got a funny face. Again, are they friends or is he about to eat him? Well, that's really nice, that book. Really beautiful. Black and yellow kind of works. I wouldn't think to put those two together. So if you would like to win that, Go on to the website sophiedawson.com and sign up to the newsletter. But I hope you enjoyed that and I'll be back later with another one. See you later.